And right here at home in Northeast Ohio, the Jewish community is still coping with the tragedies in Israel. This, as one of the faith's holiest holidays, Rosh Hashanah, begins at sundown. Our Lindsay Buckingham spoke with a woman who shares how a trip to Israel brought it closer to home. Amy Kaplan is deeply connected to Cleveland's Jewish community, a leader with the city's Jewish Federation for more than 15 years. But she says things feel different now. Honestly, for many of us, it's still October 7th. We've moved on, but we haven't recovered. Especially since Amy has seen the pain firsthand. This past spring, traveling to Tel Aviv. We were there to show support and bear witness, but we went, we traveled to the site of the Nova Music Festival and to a kibbutz that had been bombed and attacked. Um, my husband and I were there with a federation group in April during the last round of missiles that Iran sent to um, over to Israel. And at dinner, we were told that there would be missiles incoming beginning in a couple of hours. So we left dinner and instead of doing what we had planned, we went back to our hotel. Thankfully, we were in Tel Aviv and the missiles then didn't come to Tel Aviv. But two nights ago or, la or yesterday, they, they almost all came to the Tel Aviv area. A searing reminder of what the country still faces. Yet even in the profound hurt, there will forever be unwavering love for those who have suffered the most. And with one of the holiest days of the year, Rosh Hashanah, beginning this evening. We come together in times like this to support each other, to support our, our brothers and sisters in Israel, and to just um, feel like we're connected as a community here and there. And that's, that's been something that has sustained us through this last year. The message is that we're still here, we're not going anywhere, and we are with you all the way. Well, Amy says the Federation has raised a lot of funds to help the people affected by October 7th. She also notes that local Jewish congregations have had to ramp up security this year, especially around the Holy Days and after what happened in Israel yesterday. Mm. Mm. Certainly, with Rosh Hashanah yeah. starting tonight, this is forefront for a lot of families. It is, and I think she said it beautifully. This is a time for them to all come together and reflect together and pray together and hope for the best in Israel. Yeah. It, tensions are on perhaps an all-time high mm. in the region, which is saying something because they've most of them have lived in that with those high tensions for decades. But we're in a place today that we haven't been in in a very long time. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Thanks Lindsay. Be back, guys.